Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's charity stream here for the March of Dimes on Just the Humans channel. I am so stoked. My name is Trevor Valley. I will be your DM. But the most important thing is everybody to my, let's see, stream wise, uh, that way and uh, and under there. And that's where we're going to kick it off. So uh, immediately to my, I guess, camera left. Uh, Candice, tell us about yourself real quick and who you're playing. Hello, everybody. I'm called Candace. You might know me as Candace the Magnificent. My pronouns are they, she. I'm playing Whimsy Thistledown, also they, she, your resident horny bard. I'm going to try to be nice. I'm not going to be too, not going to be too spicy. And but here I we go, kicking it off immediately. <laughs> yeah. Uh, up next, uh, Jesse, how about you? Oh, is it my turn to talk? <laughs> oh. Not now, Guillermo. Only vampire streaming. Okay, so, um, I, Nandor the Relentless, Conqueror of Thousand, who has twice turned your freight is red with blood, hereby demand complete and total supplication to Jesse Jerdak, <laughs> at Jesse Jerdak on all of your popular social media. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brilliant. For it. Brilliant. Oh, I'm playing a regular human guy named John. <laughs> okay, we just went meta in a weird way. <laughs> okay, moving on so I don't completely lose my shit. Um, directly beneath Jesse, we have Kevin. Hello, I'm Kevin. My my, my pronouns are they, and I'm playing Blab of the Built, a plasmoid path of the giant barbarian. So uh, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm looking forward to kicking some ass and taking names. <laughs> Oh, so we've got a vampire that thinks he's a character playing of okay and a blob <laughs> plasma. Rad. Um, I'm okay, I'm just losing my shit already. Uh right up next we have Nuance. Hi, I'm Nuance. My pronouns are she, her, and unlike some people playing to stereotypes, I'm playing Kesra. I'm a horny wanty wizard. Very <laughs> different. I like it. <laughs> oh my. And last but certainly not least, Hope. Hey everyone, I am Hope from Hope for TTRPGs, and I am playing Lily, a tiefling uh, cleric, so I am the resident healer. Which they will need. <laughs> because today, we find our intrepid adventurers stepping into the small logging town of Hill's Rest located on the edge of a fairly robust forest, very riparian in nature, small streams moving through. Hill's Rest, again, is a kind of a sleepy little logging town. Not a whole lot of export going on, except for uh, some occasional pieces of furniture, but mainly just sawn hardwoods. We're not doing the horny line on hardwoods. <laughs> I'm just warning you all now. I know it was in your head. But... I wasn't gonna. <laughs> it yeah, my to bring Great. it to their attention. I, I just <laughs> sabotaged my own pool right on. Oh, anyway, Hills Rest, as you step in, not a whole lot of guards. In fact, you don't see many at all. There is a small tavern uh, off to the right of the main street. Looks like some smatterings of buildings, of course, a sawmill. But directly in front of you, there appears, appears to be a man of somewhat noble stature, as much as a small woodland village can have. And yelling at him is a middle-aged woman just going, I told you, no one that goes in there will ever come out. And the problem is we don't have anyone else to send in. The nobleman, I understand, Marion, but if we don't have anyone else to send in to find them, then what are we going to do? Would you like, what do you want me to do? And at that point, Marion kind of turns and sees all of you. What about them? Can they go? And you see the mayor just crack a smile as he peers over your group and steps forward. I am San Luis. I'm the mayor of this fine town, and we seem to have a problem. Uh, some of our loggers and woodsmen have gone into the woods and never came out. 
a few others went in to find them. They never made it. But one did. He had horrible wounds on his body. And all he said was, all the blood until he died. Could you help solve this problem and hopefully bring some safety to us and find out what is going on? What did he say again? <laughs> His last words were, all the blood. Yes, we will do it. I will do we it. We just, we just got here. You owe me a tankard of the finest mead, remember? No, but yes, because we are playing a game and I am supposed to say yes and. <laughs> So, yes, I will buy you a tank. And, um, but also we get blood if we go there. So, yes. Hmm. Well, the the tavern's right over there. If, yeah. And if you require sustenance and, and liquid courage, uh, please, the, the tavern is right over there. And you see <laughs> it's called the Fall Falls Leaves. And hmm. leaves are not spelled, they're, it's like, it's L E A F apostrophe S. It's like <laughs> falls leafs. <laughs> Literacy in this town not at an all time high. Mm. I think Whimsy is staring at it, confused. Like, I, I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. This is fucking me up. What? What? Are there hot people we're going? Is anyone? Is it just you know, a bunch of trolls or? But we don't know. There's something in the forest killing our people. There is a strange. <laughs> cottage a few miles in, but no one's lived there for 15, 20 years. It sounds disgusting. And uh, you just see, like, uh, Blob just, like, three-foot little plasmoid just trying to be like, hey, never judge a book by its cover. So, who knows, maybe somebody hot's just waiting in there to be discovered. Hmm. Can we judge an inn by its sign? I mean, I am. But I, I would say usually I agree don't judge by how someone looks but that's especially bad why don't we take one for the road and yeah. know, we'll see what kind of hotness we can get up to oh, I like you yes <laughs> let's let's see what there is to see I'm, I'm in fine fine you've won me over <laughs> We're gonna run into a thing where you try and seduce the big bad evil guy, aren't we? Yes, you are. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and, and hey, we we have two crits if we need them. <laughs> that is that. right. Um, <laughs> like I would just uh, like to remind people that are uh, just showing up. Um, we are doing this charity for the March of Dimes, and when you donate to the March of Dimes, you support parents throughout their pregnancies. You know, you help to end preventable maternal health risks and death and preterm birth, and close the health equity gap for every family. For every $5 you donate uh, to the March of Dimes, you'll be entered to win some amazing prizes like uh, art dice from uh, Real Life Unicorn, a uh, copy of Necrobiotic, a uh, PDF copy of the Black Ballad, a uh, PDF copy of the Spy Game, or even a $100 gift card to Dispel Dice. And you can affect the game. We already have donations or two auto crits, of course, <laughs> to the Plasmoid Barbarian. Yeah. No, that's not going to bite me in the ass. <laughs> but I might. <laughs> and uh, apparently, Candace, you also have a reroll. Huzzah! That, uh, that was just given to you. Thank so you. already, it's making the DM's job hard. And remember, you can donate to the DM too. Don't do it. <laughs> it's not worth it, except to. for the children. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Think of the children and women for Please. giving birth. So stepping into the Fall Leafs Inn, there's a small, uh, it's, it's a very interesting setup. There is majority of the bar is actually of a shorter stature for the halfling bartender standing behind it. There is a larger uh, area for the taller folk, and you see there's a set of stairs leading up behind that. The shelves are set at two different heights, but it's it's very, it's mainly set for the smaller peoples of the town. 
And as you walk in, the little halfling behind goes, Hey, hello. Uh, my name's Tay, and uh, welcome to the Fall Leafs. Um, could I get you anything to drink, maybe? Eat? Are you in control? Sorry. Sorry, John. I just, are you in control of the sign outside? Uh, yeah. What's wrong with it? I have a note. Hold on, I'll write that down for you. The proper spelling. <laughs> what? Is your last name Leaf? Yeah. Oh! oh. Right, right, right. Never we'll, mind. We'll, yeah, my we'll name's Wilhelm Leaf. Oh, all right, all right. And I whisper over uh, to Kassara, it's, it's fine, oh, it's, it's their family name. You're talking about the sign outside. Oh, no, I get it. Uh, what it is, is I fall down a lot and my last name's Leaf. So it's Falls Leafs. Oh, that's quite clever. <laughs> That's good. May I have? I, I, uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, we got tables. Sure. Either way, uh, could you get us? Um, you wanted mead, my darling. Yes. Thank you. Two meads for us. Everyone else, what do you want? John obviously wants a tankard of the finest red ale. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we we got that. Um, look kind of funny there, John. Hello, I am John, a regular human. Uh, uh, so, uh, let's say I got two, two mead, a red ale, uh, anyone else? You can mark me down for another mead. Okay, that will be three. Yeah. Oh, it, is, it is on me too. I am, I am told that it is on me. <laughs> another mead for me, please. Okay, we got four and, and a red ale. All right, coming back up. And you see he just goes behind and these tankards aren't clean. Mm. They're kind of wiped out roughly. Mm. And you just, there's like this small wooden pump that he fills from one cask for the four meads and comes and sets them down. Um, But first roll of the gate, John, Um, may I please have a perception check? Oh, yes, I'm not very perceptive. Um, Perfect. That is a 10. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, let me just do a quick. All right. And you see him uh, every he just like kind of pumps out and you're not really sure. And then he kind of stirs the beer a little to, to make a little bit of a foam because it looked like it was a little bit uh, it was a little bit flat. And he brings that over and you notice the foam is this bright red color. And as it dissipates, the whole beer is a very, very bright red. He's like, right, uh, that'll be uh, d d d d seven copper. All right, and, I uh, him. Yeah, uh, welcome to town, and uh, I hope you, uh, I hope you, you, you stay well and you enjoy it. You know, you enjoy your time. As my him. accent goes from Australian to Southern to New Jersey. <laughs> uh, is anything else I can uh, help you with? Oh, well, we are going on a journey here soon, so we might be taking these on the road. What do you know about the forest outside where people are going missing? Oh, right. The, uh, the forest. Um, spooky as shit. Uh, not, not that great. I decided to be an innkeeper uh, because I didn't like to go into a spooky forest and cut down wood. But what I can say is about 10... 12 of our finest woodmen have gone in and only one's come out and he kind of died. And all I know is there's a kind of a creepy disturbing little cabin in the middle. And that's about it, really. Occasionally there's what sounds like growling. What about the blood? What is that? What about the blood? I heard there was blood there. Uh, well, you, the... The guy that came out of the forest, kind of covered in it, and said there was a lot. Great. Uh, you, you you said that um that that the, the, there was someone who came out, and he died. Did he, was he dead when he came out, or did he die after he came out? Well, um, since he was walking, I was pretty sure he was still alive. Uh, oh. We don't we don't have one of them religious types here, so couldn't really check to see if he was one of the 
Undead? What? Oh. Do you oh, still have chap. Do you still Boy, have the body? It might be worth investigating. Well, he might be probably still in the mall. I don't know. Could have been. We haven't had a burial yet. Just, you know, came back yesterday. Well, could be worth checking out. Oh, two doors down. Lock on the left. First building. Thank you, Kyle. And we'll just. Oh. And one last thing, our friend was wondering, you mentioned that like creepy cabin in the middle. Um, do you know, are, are the people there particularly hot? Are they hard to look at? Are they good to look at? You know, Thank you. Ooh, just curious. <laughs> well, um, haven't been there myself. Uh, people haven't been living there for maybe 50 years. So I don't know. I wasn't sure if maybe they popped in for uh, some wonderful mead. From, from your establishment or not. Nope, but thank I'm you. only 25, so <laughs> if they did, it was before I was born. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Many thanks. And I'll just, like, literally, as a uh, blob will just scarf the entire ale, it just, it's just one giant tube of liquid that just slowly dissolves in his body, you see? <laughs> Ah, that's some good mood. Wilhelm looks at you a little disturbed and very gingerly picks up the empty mug. Right, I'm going to go clean this. And if you want, you can take the rest with you. Just make sure, bring the tankards back. Unless you're dead, then it's okay. It'll be right off. And he kind of like, just by two fingers, he's like, <laughs> literally, he's, he's taking the mug. He's just like, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, it's very gel, a very gelatin-like consistency on the outside. You don't know. You don't want to know what's on that fucking mug. Yeah, I, yeah, I whisper. I whisper to the rest of the party. He's going to clean it. <laughs> hmm. Hey, I'm not one to judge. He lives the life he wants to live. This is not hurting in the bottle. Yes, I mean listeria, but it's fine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're all quite hailed. This is so... a good human alcohol beverage. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, about that, John. Uh, could you please make me a second perception check? <laughs> <laughs> We're giving. <laughs> uh, Sixteen. That's better. It has. Um, I don't know how much ale that uh that you've had but this is um for an ale it's kind of watery but there is this strange kind of like extra alcoholy bite to it the other four of you notice that every time he drinks there is this red stain around his lips and his teeth are like start they started white now they're getting kind of pinkish as he's drinking Oh, yeah. Doesn't that always happen? I have seen him eat. Uh, no, you've never seen uh, him eat or drink anything to cause this. <laughs> so this is not blood? I'm sorry? What was this? This is not blood? No, you asked for a red ale? So yes, our, that's what I meant. Our ale is... Didn't know why you said blood? That's a little disturbing. No. <laughs> so, because you wanted it red, I'm sorry, you kind of caught me, but <laughs> I added a little bit of uh, ink to it, mm. just to give you the idea, but I mixed it really well, so should be okay. Thank you. I will be right back, and Thank I will you. step outside and vomit for several <laughs> minutes. <laughs> With that, Wilhelm is, like, as you get up to move and the party notices him, you turn back around. Wilhelm is gone. He's just like, you, know, you just see like off to the side where you're assuming a kitchen is, just these two swinging saloon type doors just kind of settling back into place. Mm. Probably pretty obvious that once uh, it was discovered, he bailed. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to have like extend my pseudopod, just like this little 
maybe like a, a small, an even smaller bit of blob will like sort of extend and pick up the vomit that John just threw out and just properly dispose it in a trash can outside. <laughs> See, we're in a new place, we want a nice, clean reputation. You can't afford to, you know, you want to start on a good footnote here. Whimsy is deeply offended and doesn't understand how half of that barf didn't just soak into your body. So <laughs> they just go outside. <laughs> They're standing outside waiting for everybody to decide they want to rally. They are horrified. <laughs> Whimsy, as, as you're outside and you're, you're, you're kind of glancing around, you do notice that the main, uh, the main thoroughfare ends at a fairly nicer house that you're assuming to be the mayor's house. But then there is a very obvious path past that. Um, and the trees for the forest start only about a quarter mile away. The village is built rather close to this forest, probably because of the main export being wood. The occasional nice fine piece of wood. Hmm. Hmm. We're supposed to be going to the forest, but we also were supposed to be going to the morgue to check on this potential undead. Hmm. Oh, yes, I'm very concerned about that. Maybe we go to the morgue. <laughs> I mean, there's no harm, right? Just, just yeah. check it out. This, it helps to be prepared. Let's see how bad the damage is. Maybe it's like little bits of bleeding, like, you know, lots of lots of uh, splinters, you know? I mean, that's normal for a woodsman. Yeah. Uh, at the very least, we'll know how we perish. <laughs> there is comfort in that. Hmm. Is there? Uh, well, yes. I mean, if, I, if I'm going to be torn apart by a werewolf, I, I'd like to know who I'm up against. <laughs> Sorry, the vampire just gagged at the word werewolf. Oh, <laughs> Jesse, you're going to hurt me in this stream. Oh, my. Don't worry, John, you'll be safe. He, the uh, werewolves are uh, only like, you know, um, oh. you know, the most basic of humans. So oh, very we important. Not... If we can get Whimsy, John, and this werewolf involved, we might be able to have a bestseller on our hands. Ooh, Ooh that's very true. You're not wrong. So the morgue. I'm back. <laughs> <The morgue. laughs> I mean, come on, but like the vampires involved, so sorry. Regular human. Yeah. Regular. <laughs> Regular human, yes. Uh, the morgue is a single, what appears to be a morgue. Um, weirdly enough, one half of it looks to be closer to a jail. As you walk by, there are bars on the windows. There is a small uh you know a small sword and shield etched onto the door and above it just says marshal immediately adjacent to it as part of the building uh there is a smaller squat building the windows of it the shutters are open the front door is open and a slightly cloying little bit sweet smell is coming from it and you see through the open door there is a small, um, like kind of scrawny half-elven man, set of square spectacles on his nose, kind of just paging through a couple sheafs of pamphlet, and he pulls out a quill and scratches. Him. Just sitting in there Whimsy, alone. This is your chance. Whimsy, this is your chance. I mean, uh, I'll take one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings! How are you this day? Hello! Um, I'm fine. How are you? Uh, quite, quite good, actually. And Whimsy shakes like, they have uh, this kind of medium brown skin and this full head of kinky curly ginger hair and orange freckles. Uh, uh, hello. <clears throat> we want to inquire about uh, a body. Um, unfortunately not yours, <laughs> but another that uh, <laughs> is inside of your care. Would would you would you be able to just you know let us take a quick peek inside at the body? At, at the body, yes. Myself and that, me and my friends. The one that came back. Um, oh, sure. Um, for what reason? Exactly? You're not well, one of those groups, are you? Uh, no. Uh, at least not most of us. 
Um, maybe it's, it's really for research purposes. We're going on a little bit of an adventure in the forest and we want to know what to expect. So if we can inspect the body, we can perhaps glean a little bit of the future from the wounds. Sure. Um, not a strange request, but follow me, please. Just every we, door in here is just a, a door frame. <laughs> okay. Oh my, oh my god. god. There, there's no actual doors. <laughs> All the windows are open. Oh. <laughs> and then as you go in, there are a series of wooden tables, one of which has a sheet over it. Mm. And you notice that there are small sealed containers along one side of the wall, a small table of metallic instruments. But there's a whole lot of ventilation, which is probably a good thing because there's no sorts of refrigeration or uh, enchantment to keep things cold in this room. Um, immediately as we walk in, I would like to kind of mumble a prayer under my breath and my eyes are gonna glow a little bit and uh, I'm gonna activate my eyes of the grave to see if I can sense any undead within 60 feet. Ooh, we have a grave. Nice. You sense no undead. Plenty of death around you. The natural aspect of, you know, of nature. But no undeath. Nothing of a more creepier, you know, ready to come, you know, attack you and try and eat your brains. Well, everything's normal so far. Um, if you guys are all okay with it, I, I can go forward and investigate the body a little bit more, but at least it, since it, it seems really natural so far. Now they are by all means. The last moment though, who is uh, putting money on giant splinters and who is putting money on werewolf? Giant splinters for me. Uh, I'd all say, right, can, 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 can we go with bites instead? Just general bites, Not, no offense, John. Oh, gen. Okay. Ah, so splinters, bites, <laughs> John. No, uh, I don't like giant splinters a lot. I really don't like those, no. um, and I really don't like werewolves. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm very confused right now. Um, come back to me. I would like to look at the body very close. You really have to get in there too. Uh, oh, oh, yes. but it's, please, Lily, make sure he can like you know get a good vantage point. Maybe this area. Can do. Uh, alrighty. I then will walk over, pull back the sheet, and start doing my cleric business, investigating this body, as I am very, very well versed with the dead. As you pull back the sheet, the sight that is before you is middle-aged human male. Clothes are what remains of them, still on the body the wounds and the clothes just soaked through and hardened with blood. Large chunks of flesh have been taking, taken out of his neck. Claw marks, what looks like claw marks, but deep furrows in the body have been opened. The fact that he allegedly came out of the forest and to die at the feet of someone in this village is no boots, clothes in tatters, hair pulled out by the roots. Ooh. Whatever attacked him was savage. And how much are That's... we being paid for this? That's oh, you weren't told any money. Uh, no, oh. what, 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 why? why? Why must we go? No one is hot enough in a cabin, in a wood, um... for this. There's That's two things we, I can true. glean from the, There's two things I can glean from this. One, that was a nasty thing that killed it. Or two, they were really kinky and had no safe words. Oh, I mean, that's not really kinky at all now, is it? I mean, pulling the hair by the roots, like, obviously that you're dealing with someone with a lot more strength than your partner, but it's going to lead to a mass of problems. I don't like it. Nah, I don't either. Lily, can you speak to this? 
make sure he was killed by a werewolf before I collect my winnings. Oh. Actually, once once they're gone, I would have to go find them in the circles of hell <laughs> to go speak to them. Ah, Billy, give me a medicine check. Medicine, alrighty. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's a nat one for a total of six. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, remember, uh, ladies and gentlemen in chat, you can donate to gift rerolls to the characters <laughs> uh, to help uh, March of Dimes, um, which in return supports uh, parents throughout their pregnancies and helps infant children, starts, you know, stops, uh, uh, you know, horrible mortality. And it's it's just a very good charity. And every $5 you donate, you win, you will win very cool prizes or at least have a chance to do that. So if anybody wants to, re, you know, donate for a reroll like right now, <laughs> I'll start a timer in 30 seconds. Oh my god. Before I nat one the hell out of this situation. Oh no. Are we allowed to exchange points for other players? Yeah. You know what? I'll allow it. Yeah, I'm just gonna give my crit to uh, Lily then. One of my two. Oh my! Oh, thank <laughs> you. It is. I. I'm making a ruling. It is the players and or DMs' prerogative to exchange one of their set. You know, uh, rerolls or auto crits. So with an auto crit, as we avoid that <laughs> nat one entirely, what would your total be? Um. Uh, I have a plus five, so twenty five. Ow. Okay. Um, and again, it's a, it's a crit. <laughs> you look at it, and you've dealt with dead bodies before in your tradition as uh, part of the grave domain. You are glancing around at this, and you realize that the claw marks are not from sharpened talons. They were ripped out by simple hands. The chunks of flesh mis missing that you notice is a bite done by a humanoid mouth. This was no monster. This was a person. Probably one with incredible strength. No claws, no fangs. You find no <laughs> traces of hair. Someone kill, attempted to kill this man. Well, those of you who voted for Werewolf, you're wrong. Uh, this actually seems like it's done by, well, honestly, it could just be a stronger version of John. A, a very. I'm the strongest hero. John. How dare you? <laughs> just, well, I don't know. This is. I mean, I guess if you can do this, then good, good for you. But uh, that wouldn't be a very normal. This isn't done by a very normal human. Hmm. Mm, well, I'm a normal human. <laughs> So it'd be like a John on steroids, but have done something like this. So a little bit supernatural, but not a monster, just a human. So cannibalism. Potentially. I've been known to eat a person or two, but not like that. <laughs> it's too rich for my blood. Please. Please. Yeah. Oh. At least now we know we don't need anything special to kill a human if that's what we're going out to do. Whoa. Humans are fairly easy to kill. Not you. Uh, I don't know who just did that, but each player, I will note, obviously, because someone doesn't like the DM, <laughs> but each player <laughs> has just been gifted two rerolls. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you, Dora. Oh, PB Tricks did it. Wow. Thank um, you, PB cool. Tricks. Thank you. You can also donate to help the DM. <laughs> For the love of God, help the DM. We, he needs a leg up. <laughs> For the love of God. Oh. No, you don't have to. Uh, uh, we, you don't get to have fun. This is for the kids. I, I do believe that that wow. brings 
Whimsy's rerolls alone to four. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, you haven't found the monster yet, so I'll just swap some stats. No, okay. I will not do that. I'm not that much of an asshole. All right. Hmm. That so, much. obviously, some sort of human or humanoid has attempted to eat this person. Mm. And I will have, I will note that the mayor never said anything about reward. Ah. Well, I mean, beating something up is in its own reward, right? So. Plus there's the potential of saving many lost souls. And who knows, maybe instead of having to take out the pro problem, maybe we can just heal the problem. Or if we're thinking like whimsy, we can bang the problem afterwards. I mean, it's he's gonna need a strong pitch, this person. They'll, they'll need to like really, I mean, if they're cute, that'll help. But it, oh. it, a strong pitch. I mean, I myself am quite malleable. And like, you just see like Blob's hands just <laughs> does all sorts of shapes and goes like, whatever you need, I am ready for. But yes. I like that. <laughs> and Whimsy, you are overlooking the the uh, benefits of bondage. Keep <laughs> away from the hands. Ah, you all know me so well. All right, all right, all right. We're going to the forest. Um, however, I, I can't confess to, you know, enjoying myself. I will play a medium jaunty too. That's the best I can do. I'll be along in like two minutes. <laughs> do you need the room? If you, sure, just for some uh, investigations of my own. Of course. Oh, yeah. Is this a human thing? Normal human thing, yes. Oh, Zara, we've been with John for years. He does this all the time with everybody we see. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah. Before we leave him to it, in my medicine check, would I have, like, noticed if there was, like, if the blood had changed at all or, like, was toxic, anything like that? Uh, you would have noticed, but no. No, just horrific wounds all over this person's body. Oh, well... John, I guess we'll leave you to it and enjoy your human time. It's, it's for morning. <laughs> oh, yes. <sighs> He's so emotional. I can never get a read on that guy. As you walk out one by one, the, the half-elf is still there just scratching uh, with him. And he's like, well, now, um, everything okay? Did you figure anything out? Uh, Yes, it was very insightful. Um, Our friend just needs a moment. He, he was very... He has a lot of big feelings, uh, so he's just taking a moment, but we noticed that uh, whatever did that was just human. So nothing too scary if it's just a human. <laughs> Interesting. I thought it was some sort of horrible sawing accident. <laughs> is, is this the first time you've had something like this come into your situation? Uh, yes, usually um, all that comes back are pieces. I see pieces. Yes, good. Yes. Mm. Wonderful. Poor Bevan just came back and it was just a bunch of hands. And he only left with two though. Yeah, how the fuck does that work? Does it just get a bunch of hands while he was there? How do you know if it was, was it all the same hand multiple times? Or how the hell does that work? Well, two of them were his because the rings were on him but I never associated, because he was the only one that went in. But then oh. a whole bunch of hands came out. Blob, why are mistake. you as asking about how many hands? You have made several, multiple times. Hey, you can never be too prepared. Exactly. Perhaps John, he was. I, I have an idea of what you're doing. <laughs> uh, but... <laughs> Um, how, how long are you taking to, um, mourn? <laughs> mourn? Oh, probably like two minutes, depending okay. on okay. rigidity. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just, for, for shits and giggles sake, are you wiping the corners of your mouth to make sure that, you know, you, you know, everything is sure. fine and take, okay. Yes, I, I'll come out of the room now and, and be like wiping my mouth and say, and also something drained the body of all of its fluid. 
John, I see me wiping your cheeks, your tears. It's so touching. It's beautiful. There was much touching, eh? Yes, yes. Quite so. She just bled out. Oh, that's tragic. So sad. The most sad. So well, we're looking for something that tears apart and also drains blood. Yes. <laughs> More clues. <laughs> and I can't Your convince tissue. any of you to just go back to the pub. Uh, at this point, I'm just really curious to see how many hands or other appendages this guy has. I am no longer thirsty. <laughs> That red ale helped? Yes, the red ale, the regular human alcohol drink. <laughs> it's as been known to revitalize. <laughs> as this conversation is happening, still inside the, the entryway for the morgue, um, the mortician has stopped writing and he's kind of glancing at you all. He's like, can I ask you all to leave? This is my business and even you are creeping me out. Yeah. I throw a gold piece at him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it bounces off his glasses. He's like, oh, um, and clatters onto the desk. He tried to grab it, didn't expect it at all. And he's like, oh, well, thank you. Uh, and he just kind of tucks it into a pocket. Still, though, you're still creeping me out. But yeah. I understand. This will probably get out of your hair. Right, right, right. He kind of smooths his bald spot with a look of concern. Mm. Aww. Just grows very quiet. We meant nothing by it, good sir. You're quite handsome for your age. Wait, he's a bald guy with glasses? Uh, balding, yes. It's, we have to get the fuck out of here. I know what these are. This is an emotional <laughs> vampire. It's time to run. <laughs> That's true. He is a kind of a bummer. Yeah. Oh, Only gloomy people are vampires. Like, that's the dead gift of the world. It's true. A little bit of information. Um, when he came out of the forest, he was just um, just on the edge of it. All right. Thank you. Where else would he come out? From the middle? I presume there's going to be a blood trail. John, you're quite good at following trails, aren't you? You've got such a good sense of smell, especially when there's blood involved. Quite, just quite uncanny. <laughs> There's nothing uncanny about me. I'm regular human. <laughs> That's true. I just meant that you're, you know, talented. Hmm. Yes, very talented. And also very uh, tall and handsome and powerful. That's true. <laughs> true. The slight edge of the forest, and as you get closer, as you walk down the road just past the large manor building, you do notice that even though it's been tried to be raked over and the dirt has been disturbed, there is a still a considerable blood stain on the ground, only 50 or so yards from the edge of the forest. And there is a fairly distinct trail heading into it. Hmm. Huh. Shall we follow the blood trail? And then when we come back, we tell the mayor that until we get paid, we won't tell anything further. But we'll still go take care of things. Oh, of course. Uh, we do deserve to get paid. Definitely. Uh, John, you're the expert tracker on this, so feel free to... I think it makes sense for you to be up front. Uh, I'll just be right behind the bud. Okay, Booger. <laughs> I like that one. That's a keeper. Yes, I'm a keeper. Okay. <laughs> I will look around for blood on the, the ground. <laughs> uh, give me a nature check. Okay. Pretty bad at that one. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 18. Wow. Okay, that's rad. Um... It is very, very obvious, uh, this blood trail. The, um, it's not, uh, it's not really that inconspicuous at all. And you see it kind of weaving 
through the first set of smaller trees. Marks on the trees of where this man's hands would have hit as he was dragging himself out of the forest. The blood trail actually gets wider and more distinct as you go deeper in. And right on the edge, only about a half, maybe three quarters of a mile in, there's this site just on the edge of a glade where there are streaks of blood on the trees, a large amount just splattered at the base of this trail. And ahead is a small glade, maybe only 50 or so yards across. And in the middle, piled up roughly about four or five feet, series of stones covered in blood surrounded by clean polished huh place is great hmm not sure about to make it with this I don't know if I should be very, very quiet or make a lot of noise so it'd just come over to us. I mean, there's there's five of us and one of it, so I would assume we'd have at least a little bit of a chance before completely perishing. Uh, we're assuming we're dealing with one. Might be more than that. Uh, let's let's do the body system. That might be the best chance of survival. Yes, the <laughs> yes. body system. Hmm. Oh. It appears that we got another re-roll for Whimsy, bringing <laughs> the bard up to five. <laughs> Chad just hates me. Wow. <laughs> Chad okay, wants the crying. bard to bang. I will say that <laughs> the the DM could try to convince players to give up their re-rolls to them if something cool happens. Right. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we might be in a generous mood. <laughs> if we just steam, it wouldn't be fun if we just steamrolled everything. <laughs> you said there's blood everywhere? Oh, yes. I would like to sneakily taste it. Uh, give me a sleight of hand check. Sure. Or. Oh. That's a three. <laughs> Would you like to use one of your two rerolls? No. <laughs> you notice very conspicuously, John lean down and scoop a handful of earth, blood soaked earth, and start licking it while looking at you all. Pretty normal, hey guys? I've, I've heard of this. Um, is it quite nutrient rich? Perhaps you have an iron deficiency. Perhaps. <laughs> this is yes. truly, truly a master of his craft. What can you taste in the blood? Fear, perhaps, a direction where it comes from? Do you, do you have, you know, soil mancy? Yes, do I taste fear or an erection? <laughs> that would be an investigation. Okay. Oh, God. That's a seven. Seven, okay. Um, I will use a reroll. Okay. <laughs> okay. We have one remaining. Very important to clarify. <laughs> it is also a saving. <laughs> there is so much boner in this earth. <laughs> it is definitely blood, uh, a bit of soil. You do kind of pull an earthworm out of your teeth. <laughs> um, It's hard to tell. It's old. You know that. But I know strangely, that it's old. It's old, but it's still fresh. Oh. You can tell the difference between stale blood that's been out for a while and has begun to congeal and fresh. You can taste the age. It's a lot more iron rich, but it's still fresh. As you drop the soil sample, your hand is slightly stained. Yes, so... um. 
uh, 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 <laughs> the uh, it's mm -hmm. it's fresh blood. Mm. Some or at least fresh, fresh old blood. blood. Mm. Like, is do, do we see like? Is there like a vibe <laughs> in this area? Oh, like, that would be that would be insight. Okay. Twelve. Okay. Wait. You have I'm gonna use one of my rerolls. One of your five. Okay. <laughs> one of your five. Give us that only brings you resource. to four. I'll drop a reroll into the pool. Oh, Twenty-four. Natural twenty <laughs> on the reroll. Holy shit. Yes. Um, I was so close to giving you my credit for this because, like, I need to know the vibe too. Yes. <laughs> I want to know. Is it like? Is it like a silent glade that's like mysteriously bloody? Is there yeah. like, maybe I feel like a hair raising situation, like someone's near? Like what kind yeah. of vibe are we dealing with? Uh, the answer to that is yes. So <gasps> as you're, you know, people are focused on John, other people are looking at the glade from a distance. You suddenly start looking around and there's something not As a bar, you do control the magical weave for your voice, for your musical instruments. But there's an aspect of it, because you're of the College of Lore, that you know that this is some sort of enchantment, that the bones, as you just look close from a distance, the flesh and muscle has been gnawn, gnawed off them, and they've been licked clean. They have been placed around this bloody stone pile for a reason. You can still see the blood dripping from the trees on the outside of it. There is mm. something nearby. There's a feeling of here. Mm. Don't like that. Something is watching. Okay. <laughs> Can I cast Fairy Fire on the pile of bones and the surrounding area? Can I like make the pile of bones kind of like the central part in front of us? Oh. A absolutely. Okay. So yeah, because it, it you don't have to do um, creatures; it can be done to an object. Yeah. That's You're absolutely yeah. within sixty feet of it. Yes. Beautiful. Before you do that, um, <clears throat> since I have it at will, can I cast detect magic? Mm. Or it gets all magicy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very important. the stones have a eerie necromantic cast to them but it's slight like the enchantment the weave is just wrapped around it a bit the bones are absorbing some of that energy the ring of trees has the matching energy to it and you notice that whatever it is keeping the blood fresh in this this it's also is... also a slight hint of divination magic coming from the stone at the very top uh. well this is interesting so the stones have they're wrapped in like a web of of necromantic magic as you would expect but it's like the bones are absorbing it as well and the trees have it and it's all an enchantment oh well not enchantment enchantment keeping the blood fresh john did you notice the same thing oh yes i noted a lot of tasty blood everywhere somebody's very wasteful 
And <laughs> the, the top stone has divination magic. Someone is watching you, said Whimsy? Yes, I do feel as though someone is, um, I don't know, spying on us, perhaps? Laying in wait? I wish they'd make themselves known. Hold on, let me go fix this problem real quick. And uh, Blob is going to just go over to the rock that the divination magic is coming from and uh, just just chuck his great axe at it. Just <laughs> see if just, I can just break it. You're just smashing the stone pile? <laughs> the best is I, to the best of my ability. Well, cool. just give me a quick strength saving throw. Um, oh. oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This is no. a barbarian. Barbarian, this is what I'm built for. First roll, come on. That is going to be a 19 total. Ooh. Easily. You just kind of, you come at a slight angle. And <laughs> as your great axe hits, Kiss, your detect magic still going, watches the divination magic just unravel as the stone pile is scattered. Probably in a good 10 foot just mess as Blob just carves his great, great, great axe through it. A couple of the bones are broken. You see the necro, the necro, uh, necrotic magic kind of waver, but still hold on as if the chain of the weave was impacted a little with the divination magic vanishing, but it's still there. The, the small pile scattered, the bones scattered. Blob turns back to you all like just covered in bone shrapnel inside his body. He's like, I don't see what the problem is. I think, you know. How's dealt with, right? You did, in fact, take care of the divination magic, although the necrotic is still there. What if you tried to chop some of the bones? Hmm. I mean, that's a little bit dense for my sensibilities, but doesn't I can try. I mean, you just slammed your axe into stones. Bones... Ugh. Are, are much less uh, difficult, I would assume. I will do it. I will try to do more than Bob did. <laughs> I have to show off that I am strong too. <laughs> we love a show of strength. How are you attacking these bones, um, and or Blob? With uh, a very long curved sword. Not not Bob. Bob. Blob is a good friend. He did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Chopping up the rock. Good job, Blob. Thank you, thank you. I'm just gonna swap to my hand axe and just <laughs> try and at least be very more. <laughs> Bones are much more brittle than uh, than stones in this case. And mm. as you break the bones here and there, Whimsy, are you still casting Fairy Fire? Yeah, I think I want to, because I feel okay. like something is here, and I need to know where. As they're breaking the bones, you begin illuminating the scattering of rocks, the bones themselves, as each one breaks, just smaller glowing pieces. S, your detect magic, as you're feeling and seeing this, every time a bone is broken, the necrotic energy in the midst where the pile was weakens, but it gets stronger on the edge. Oh. You begin looking and seeing the trees next to you. So for the record, the proof of concept was correct. The more you break the bones, the, uh, the the weaker the necrotic magic is in the center, which is what I was looking for. That's good. That's How, good. However, it is getting a little stronger around us in the trees. Oh. Oh. Mm. Delightful. For the record, though, that wasn't part of my experiment, so I'm still one for one. Quickly at the edge of the glade, on the other side from all of you, Blob and John in the center, you just hear this anguished no! from inside the tree line. 
You cannot see, but definitely you heard something screaming no in anguish. Um, I would like to once again have my eyes glow and cast Eyes of the Grave again and see if there's an undead within 60 feet of us. I sit very still. I'm just hiding behind fucking John's leg. This this small little gelatin man. Is... You begin to sweep your eyes. And you've done this before. There's a little bit of an outline around John and you ignore it. <laughs> Wonder what that's about. But there's, there's a weird side effect. There's nothing. <laughs> <Human> things. <laughs> there's weird. nothing on the edge or even slightly into uh, the forest surrounding the, surrounding the grove or the small glade you're in. Oh, would I have maybe seen something like this before? Uh, just, you know, coming from the circles of hell, dealing with lost souls, things like that. Would I maybe have an idea of what type of ritual may have been set up? Give me a religion check. Good question. Ooh. That is a nine. You have two rerolls available. Yeah, I want to use a reroll. Yeah. <laughs> like the DM is better. working them out. <laughs> <laughs> you have so much more to go for, Candace. Yeah. <laughs> a 15. This is not any sort of religious ceremony to any god that you know of. Nothing you have seen when you know in your readings about the great blood wars between the demons of the abyss and the devils of the nine hells. Nothing at all, even with strange necromantic rituals of wizards or other clerics of evil gods. This simply looks like from what you're looking at, it's some sort of trophy. Like, no one did it for anyone else. Whoever did this, did it for themselves. Maybe to float? Make them feel comfortable? Well, at least we know they're not religious, but they definitely have a big ego. Uh, so that's almost scarier. Yeah, they're not exactly mutually exclusive, big ego and religion. Uh, that's true, but a big ego could uh, also be reasoned with, uh, as long as you agree that they are fantastic. And I'm I'm quite good at telling people they're fantastic. Mm. So we're seeing this creepy ass motherfucker across the glade. Anybody want to go say hi, or we're just going to awkwardly gaze into each other? Can I send some dancing lights down there to illuminate and see if we can see a little bit better? Oh, sure. In the, in the direction that the yelling came from. It Absolutely. goes up to 120 feet, so I feel like we could get a nice, oh. like, airline runway of lights. <laughs> Easily. I mean, the whole glade is, you know, it, it's not even that deep. But you send them in there, and they kind of, like, arc out and spray. What what are the colors of the lights? Like, how, uh, does, how does this appear? How do you manifest it? So Whimsy just like, she has uh, a little lute and they kind of play a couple of uh, just notes, like four notes, one for each light. And each note that they play, um, like the deeper ones are kind of like a blue color. And then mm -hmm. the highest pitched one is like a pink. And they're like a variety of, like a small variety of like rainbow colors um, mm -hmm. as they dash off in uh, color order. As you send them out, they begin to flip back and forth through the trees. I would like a perception check from everybody. Okay. I'm uh, using my second reroll. Nice. Out of five. <laughs> three left. That was worse. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that is a 17 from Lab. <laughs> Ooh, I'm uh, I'm gonna use one of my rerolls too. Okay. Was... I got a thirteen. Okay. I'm just climbing up on top of John's shoulder, just being like, hmm. <laughs> 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 How about you, John? Uh, there's the guy made out of semen on top of my shoulders. 
And so I cannot be very good. And I rolled a natural one minus one for zero. <laughs> so as Blob gets on your shoulders, like a small film of their legs just kind of briefly <laughs> just covers your face and your eyes. And you're like, everything is kind of this weird gelatinous blue. It looks pretty. But the glade is just, yeah. It's like you're looking through like some kind of weird amniotic sack. Oh, I've been here before. Funny, <laughs> um, most people have. And the good thing is when you donate to March of Dimes, you support parents throughout their pregnancies. That does include amniotic sacks. Um, it also helps uh, and preventable maternal health risks and deaths yes. like an amniotic sac rupture, rupturing. <laughs> Uh, and preterm birth uh, and close the health equity gap for every family that would have any sort of horrific amniotic sac injury. For every $5 you donate to, the March of Dimes will be entered to win some amazing prizes, including art dice from, uh, from, uh, uh I just amniotic sacked myself on that. <laughs> yes. God. I, wow. I just, I just, common problem. That's a common problem. Yeah. I just so you at... can include art dice from uh, <laughs> Unicorn, a copy of Necrobiotic, which matches the whole theme of today's game, uh, a PDF copy of The Black Ballad when it uh, becomes available, or a PDF copy of The Spy Game, or even a $100 gift card to Dispel Dice. And remember, Ooh. your donations also can impact the game by say like giving the DM some re-rolls, uh, perhaps some automatic crits so I can use them against the players because they have enough re-rolls and auto crits and all that. I mean, you, you got to start helping the storyteller here, but <laughs> you, you, you do. <laughs> but with those perception checks, uh, who had the higher than 15? That was me. I'm just like climbing on top of John being like, oh, sorry, John, you're total, I assume you're total, totally normal human vision, just your account for the film. So don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed so hard, I just got a little dizzy. Wow. Oh, God. Uh, that's when you've got things wrong with your brain. It's just like, oh, my oh. Lord. <laughs> There is, as the lights kind of flit through and illuminate mm. for the briefest of seconds, you see a shape mm. dart from one tree to another. It's hard to make out what it is, but it's something in the shadows just beyond that's moved out of the range of lights. Oh. Just all. Blob's just pointing off to the direction of where he saw that last shape. It's about, you're guessing, maybe nearly two meters in height. So, so like, maybe like around five or so. Mm. Just under that. Okay. Hmm. Mm, I don't like this. <laughs> Can I send one of the lights over there? Sure. Absolutely. Let's see what is the... As the light drifts over, there is suddenly the silhouette of something backlit. With a guttural growl, it kind of like half lunges from one of the trees and tries to swipe at the light. It's just like... And... His hand, it's, it, you see, it looks like to possibly be like, just from the build, a somewhat muscular, maybe human or humanoid male. Swipe at the light and then scamper off into the darkness. Mm. I say, fuck it, follow it. I'm, I'm not feeling comfortable in this glove anymore. Let's just Which go one do we do first? John oh. asking the real questions that here. Is, yeah, th you're the real brains of this operation, John. For real. Oh. Hmm. 
Wait, I can't talk. I have blob guy on my shoulders. <laughs> oh, sorry. And I'll just like sort of like very, very slowly just slide down. Just, <laughs> just get down to the floor level. It's a good thing I don't need to breathe. I think I got pieces of your asshole stuck in my face. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just falls out. I can't. My doctor just. I took some prescriptions for it, but it just keeps falling, man. Your ass falls out. Yeah. If you're doing it right. I mean, <laughs> that's that's quite it's quite some rough play. Oh <laughs> yeah, it comes very in handy in the right situations. It comes in it's... handy. <laughs> so we went from amniotic sacs to prolapse. This is fascinating. I yes. was going to let the party go that route. I already did my weird segue. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast Mage Armor, you know, for, for no reason, like for funsies. Okay. Good choice. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Uh, what did you DM see? Sense. I was in Blob's colon. <laughs> Oh, I was watching that. That was... <laughs> <laughs> so we're following this thing now? Mm. I think it's you? probably for the best. I, mm. Do we want to follow it, or...? Uh. If I can uh. be in the middle, I will follow. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you said several nights ago. I like what I like. <laughs> Sometimes no this gotta be shade. in the middle of a sandwich, you know? Wow, that was such a fucking home run. <laughs> <laughs> Are you attempting to follow this thing somewhat stealthily? Yes. Well, then I would like a group stealth check. Ooh. Ooh. Disadvantage on that because I'm wearing all of my chain mail. <laughs> oh. okay. I'm gonna roll with my big boy die. Twenty-two. As well, that's Ooh. also what you said the other night. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use one of my re rolls for that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who? That is much better. It was a four, but now it's a nineteen on a die for a total of a twenty-two. <laughs> uh, looks like Kess just got an auto crit. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's gonna be good later. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, 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 I rolled a seven and I said, no, that's rude. So then I did a reroll and then I got a crit fail. So, oh, darn. <sighs> See, we're helping the DM. We're getting the right? rules. So, so useful. So I mean, useful. <laughs> why donate to the dungeon master when you can just donate to the players and they crit fail anyway? <laughs> so anyway, I'm here with my big five. Okay. <laughs> uh, wow. So um, did anyone else get, say, above a 10? <laughs> okay. What was your total? 22. And also 22. Damn. Okay. Five. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I'm, I'm doing a really human. good job. So we have two fives, a four, and dos 22. Okay. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you begin to like crouch down and you get to the tree line. John bouncing slightly off one of the trees, the chainmail rattling. Watch it. <laughs> what the tree did you, John? He's a rascal. Kess <laughs> stubbing uh, their toe on one of the rocks. Whimsy and Blob, you're looking back. At just so much. <sighs> slowly creep deeper into the forest along the route. I'd like a group perception check again. <laughs> group sure. perception. Whoop. Ooh. <laughs> if you have a second re-roll, I'm just gonna go ahead and just spend that right now. Yes, burn them. Burn them all. <laughs> <laughs> 
very minimally worth it. I am down to two. <laughs> oh. oh. That's all my rerolls, and that is uh, an 11 for perception. Okay. 15. John. 11 of 15. John? I am still wiping a little bit of blood cake out of my eyes. <laughs> so I am. Uh, at, uh, I wrote a natural one for a zero. Fantastic. <laughs> yes. Uh, what, uh, what'd you get, Cass? Uh, oh, thank you. Sorry. I got a six. I'm watching him. Uh, <laughs> <I'm lucky. laughs> oh, no, you missed the spot. No, it's, it's right. Wait, no, wait, wait, I, wait, I, I gotta catch it. I gotta still. catch it. Be careful. Uh, uh. Uh, no, you're just missing it. Uh, like, stay still. I got this. And Lily? 16. Not bad. There's definitely Lily, Bob, Rimsy. There's definitely a shadow of just bouncing from tree to tree, still staying ahead of you. But it would, it stops as you're kind of floating the lights around. You just see a quick glimpse of it. It's looking toward you but it's backlit by the foggy sun overhead. The dim lights floating. You don't see face. Looks in your direction and then scampers. Is it within 30 feet? Can I still see it? It's, it's a little bit it's, further away from that. It's quite fast. It doesn't seem friendly. And I don't see the fucking cabin. There was a fucking oh. cabin? I, didn't I mean, I was hoping so. Details. I mean, when all this is over, we can make it a fucking cabin. I was told there would be. It's the only reason I'm here. Mm, mm. Uh. The journey was the fucking we found along the way. <laughs> God, I hope so, because that thing is fucking scary, and I am okay. not really excited about meeting it in person. Mm. It could be handsome. How far away is it from us, roughly? It was about 60 feet, and then it disappeared into the darkness. Yeah, mm. yeah I'm not really going to take the chance on this anymore, and I'll just, like, hop on the floor, and I'm going to go into a rage, and you watch as Blob just uh, doubles in size and is now just a massive form, and I'm just going to start chucking my great axe through all these trees and just, cle- like, no place for this thing to hide. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. You're- Chopping into trees, making a huge amount of noise. Any sort of possible stealth that the party had <laughs> completely gone. There is now okay. this very tall, mat, you know, kind of like just bulbous blob <laughs> with a great axe just yeah. trying to cut through trees. Mm. May I have a group perception check at disadvantage? Ah, <laughs> damn it, I didn't know it'd make it harder for us. Shit. <laughs> disadvantage. Okay, that's all right. Off to a fantastic start with a three. And with a that's a total of four. Got it. <laughs> that's going to be a real hot seven. Got it. Really? Dreaming hot shit. Yes. 18. On disadvantage? On disadvantage. I rolled a 16 Damn. and a 17. John. So I'm trying to make sure that like I'm still taller than Blob. <laughs> no, and very... definitely not. Oh, well, I, then I'm like on my tippy toes just a little bit, but trying to be subtle about it. And I rolled a one for a zero. Got it. <laughs> my God. <laughs> yes. You step back a little. The wood splinters going everywhere, and you just kind of notice out of the corner of your eye, you spot him. Mm-hmm. It's following you. 
about five, maybe 30 feet back. He gets down on all fours and breaks into a sprint. And then you realize the horrific thing once sung about by bard extraordinaire Robert of Cantor. The thing chasing you is the actual cannibal, Shia LaBeouf. And that is where we will go to break. No. We will be back in a little bit. Please remember, ladies and gentlemen, and those of a non-binary stature, when you donate to the March of Dimes, you will support parents throughout their pregnancies. So please donate to the stream. While we are on break, make sure that the DM has all those auto crits and rerolls because they are about to be, well, attacked by one of the most (laughs) horrific things you can possibly think of. And when you make those donations, you are helping to end preventable maternal health risks and death and preterm birth, close the health equity gap for every family. And for every $5, you're entered into uh, that cool pool, uh, cool, rule pool, 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 <laughs> pool, pool uh, to enter, uh, you know, some, win some really amazing prizes. Uh, art dice from uh, really cool, you uni- <laughs> Yes. My mouth yes. is getting dry. I need I need to drink more blood. <laughs> ah. Wow. Wait, is that really blood? Because that's cool. No, well, I mean, the mug's red. So, uh, art <laughs> dice, copies of games, PDF copies of games, or even a $100 gift card to Dispel Dice. So please hang out. Make sure you go take a bio break, drink some water, maybe get a snack, because we will be right back. And the party is going to roll initiative. Yes! And a few. Goodbye. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, For those just joining us, we are uh, just after our break here at the halfway point of this fantastic charity game. Uh, This charity is for the March of Dimes. And when you donate, you support parents throughout their pregnancies. You help uh, to end preventable maternal health risks and death. You end preterm birth, uh, close the uh, health equity gap for every family. And for every $5 you donate to the March of Dimes, you'll be entered in to win some amazing prizes, including art dice from Real, uh, real Life Unicorn, uh, like a, ra- a copy of Necrobiotic, which is really cool, a PDF copy of the Black Ballad when it's released, a PDF copy, a PDF copy eh, of the Spy Game, or even a $100 gift card to Dispel Dice. And also, you can donate to affect the game by giving the dungeon master, me, uh, critical hits uh, against the party, rerolls <laughs> I could use against the party, and various things because in a hunted forest on the outskirts of a glade writhing with ne- necromantic energy, we find our party, a massive plasmoid. Blob the barbarian is cutting down trees with his great ax. Any sort of stealth has been completely destroyed. (laughs) Kess turns, looks, sees actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf drop down to all fours and break into a sprint. And now, can we all roll initiative? Here we go! Ah, cocked. <laughs> oh. Oh, that no. is a 13 for me. Okay. <laughs> I'll put you in the middle for right now. Uh, 14. John, you... I'm sorry, what was that, Cass? Oh. Uh, 14, sorry. Ooh, 14. Okay, you're after Blob Look here. Look at little stands, it's so cute! Yeah. I'm a dungeon master, you have to have initiative trackers. I love it. John, <laughs> how about you? Ones. It's so I rolled an 11. <laughs> okay, you're currently on that side of the lob. Whimsy? 21. Damn. Oh, sorry, I'm doing this completely the wrong way because I'm an idiot. <laughs> because I'm looking at it this way. Uh, Lily, how about you? A 13 as well. Okay. Um, Between uh, Kess and you, let me double check here. Uh, Kess's dex is that. 
Lily's dex is that. So it goes like this. And Whimsy, you seem set and ready. And immediately <gasps> just bracing for something is this horrible blood soaked individual, scrawny beard, kind of a shitty bull cut on top of his head, horrible tattoos, and just <laughs> this mouth dripping with blood as he's. What are you doing, Whimsy? Uh, I am going to, uh, I think I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers at it. Um, it's, it's, it's coming, it's coming hard and fast and I'm not into that without consent. So I would like, I just want to keep it over there. Yeah. It, wow. Okay. Cool. Valid as shit. Yep. Um, what is, um, uh, what is your, uh, okay. Well, the, 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 it's a wisdom save of 15. Or I else. rolled a 17. Damn it. Oh, uh, this is where the rolls start to bias in the ass. He, uh, he, he appears to be quite alert. I don't know if he's on something. If he is, I'd like some of it, but uh, good luck. Uh, still takes half damage. <laughs> okay, good. So uh, what? Uh, That's uh, better than much? nothing. Hmm? Uh, you're uh, casting it at first level. I think it's 3d6. That's seven. Seven points. Got it. There's a and brief I, like, moment. I scooch how, out of the way. How do you, how, what, what, what does it look like when you cast Dissonant Whispers? I look in his direction and as he grows closer and I take him in, uh, he gets like a little bit of like a whisper, like a little whispery voice in his ear that says, you shouldn't have gone with the flash art. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Mid sprint as he's like gaining onto the group. You just see him kind of, ah. <laughs> and ooh, let's see here. If I remember correctly, you had Blob kind of hacking down the trees. Yeah. What is the general like cluster of people hmm. going on? Huh. This cannibal is trying to check okay. I'd say, like, yeah, if Candace is close, uh, sorry, if Whimsy is closest to um, Shia, I would probably bloppy, like, probably a good 30 or so feet away from where they are. Okay. Yeah. And everybody else kind of clustered in the center? Yes. Uh, Kess doesn't stand on the outer reaches of anything. She's a wizard. She likes <laughs> ablative armor. Okay. Uh, Lily is probably more towards the outside of the group. Okay. Hmm. I would be standing as close to the front of the group as I could, looking majestic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I just took a glance at chat really quick. <laughs> Whimsy, <laughs> apparently you have an auto crit and two re rolls again. I have four re rolls. Help, you, you can help the DM people. I mean, come on now. Really? Really? I gave you actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf against this party. And you're just like, you're shitting on the DM here. Don't, Fine. Don't you know worry. what's going to happen then? You know what's going to happen? Whimsy, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. As you pluck yeah. those notes, he turns to you and just stares, and you feel this fear beginning to creep on you. I'm gonna use uh, an auto a, a reroll. A reroll is what I'm using. Okay. <laughs> what do I need? Uh, you need a wisdom saving throw. The DC? Yeah. Nineteen. Nineteen? <gasps> okay. Sir. Okay. Okay. Sir. <laughs> Hi, Jinx. <laughs> Ensuing. There's five of you. There's one of him. <laughs> oh my goodness! You're gonna make me use my auto crit, aren't you? You are. Are you? You are using your auto crit. I've used two re rolls and I've still failed. Okay. I take offense. <laughs> I'm. I, you know what? I'm just gonna eat it. I'm gonna take whatever is coming and I'm gonna save my auto crit for something far more fun. Are you sure? 
Oh, I hate that. I hate that question. I hate it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Just it's do a one it. shot. <laughs> it's a one shot. Yes. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. You're, you're burning your auto crit. Okay. Or no, you're you're allowing it to go through. I'm allowing it to go through. Cool. You look at him, and he has death in his eyes. Oh no! <laughs> and you suddenly are paralyzed with fear. You have the paralyzed condition for one minute. Okay. All right. Can I you make can... sure that I'm? Can I? Can I pose before I get paralyzed, or oh, I'm just sure, posed sure. in whatever? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like... I get posed in a. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that is, and he closes the distance and he actually is right next to you, Whimsy, but that is, uh, all he does. Can I smize the... at him? You can totally <gasps> smile at him. Yeah. No, no, no. A smize. Cause I can't move my face. So it's oh, just yeah, yeah, it's the like... eyeball. Yeah. Okay. Smile yeah, totally. the yeah. eyeball. Yeah. Got it. So Love he it. knows that I'm like, I, I see him. Yeah. Yep. Can I... be done. You just uh, don't that, see him, you see him. <laughs> that is that is the end of his action. So now we have Kess up with Lily on deck. Yes. Uh, so Kess is actually like, oh, no, no. And in doing so, casts Chromatic Orb uh, with lightning because she's, ooh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> got it. Uh, yeah. Make uh, make your ranged spell attack. <laughs> oh my. Seventeen. Seventeen just hits. What does oh. your summoning of this chromatic orb do? What does uh, it look like? So How do you? Uh. Again, it's it's just that like that startled no oh go away uh, and uh, between her uh, between my hands is this or this crackling orb and just flings it at him uh, aiming just for his face those eyes those um, paralyzing eyes but for fluff not actually <laughs> for got aiming it. got it um, what's the damage uh, I believe it's three d eight it's gonna be lightning. Yes, uh, cool. 3D8 lightning uh, for, I rolled that, for 14. Ooh, okay, right on. Uh, that's cool. Do you have any more uh, actions or bonus actions you'd like to do, or movement? Uh, I am going to kind of look around and I wouldn't call it a, a scamper. It, it's a... Uh, a dignified stride. It just happens to be very fast. Uh, and I'm going to be standing behind Blob uh, for, for encouragement purposes or whatever. Uh, Fantastic. And um, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Shadow Blade. Uh, so once uh, once I have have uh, moved behind Blob, I'm going to start just gathering shadows from the trees. Uh, from John, his shadows are always so like deep and dark. It's very appreciative. Uh, until uh, I have this great sword in my hand, nice. just have to be very light and finesse. Ooh, that's cool. Is it that's... bigger than mine? <laughs> no, of course not. Never. What? Uh, as a legendary action, uh, actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf <laughs> is going to staring like blocked by whimsy to the rest of the party, kind of like staying behind them, gets smashed in by this orb just drawn from the weave itself and electrified, immediately growls and takes a massive bite out of, goes to take a massive bite out of whimsy. Uh, because you are paralyzed, he does have advantage on this <laughs> roll. Uh, let's see. Does a 16 hit you? <sighs> I think you know it does. Uh, I'm not looking at your sheet. I have the paralyzed condition up in front of me. I'm just, uh, I'm just a little baby bard, so yeah. <laughs> okay. So you take... Ooh. You take... Wait, nine, if I oh, may. Yes. yes. 
Uh, so with Silvery Barbs, since he's rolling with advantage, with Silvery Barbs still effect? I think it does. It? I think so too. Does. Because you can use it as a reaction. And Which he I used am. a leg. He used a legendary action after at the end of your turn. So yes, I will allow I will allow uh, the reaction of silvery barbs to go. Uh, so again, my hand shoots out, and from my palm is uh, it looks like a a necklace chain, but made of thorns, and it wraps around his head, and I pull, and uh, it goes through. It just goes right through his mind. And I say, okay. try again. Um, now I do have to ask the party. He rolled with advantage. This would immediately reduce it to a natural roll. Does the party want me to use the lower roll that you don't know the result of? Would you like me to roll the attack again? Ooh. Ooh. I say roll That's the attack again. Yeah? Good. Okay. Roll again, yes. Okay. Yes, right. That, let's, let's I mean, give... that is the yeah. rules as written from the spell. Yes, but so, will you tell us what the original roll was after you rolled this roll? The yeah. original roll was a 13. Okay. Ah. Okay. This okay. is a 14. All oh. right. Okay. So using, so according to Silvery Barbs, I have to use the lower, um, I believe I have to use the lower roll, um, which would be 13. Does the 13 hit? Me? Yes. It does. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> I so, tried. Meets yes, it, beats those, it. Those thorns, <laughs> those barbs, snap out and rip his head to the side, and he looks at you and growls, shakes, and you just feel that energy shatter as he turns and takes a big bite, non-consensual bite, out of like Whimsy's it. neck for a total of nine hit points of necrotic damage, uh, and uh, as he uh, swallows. Wait, huh? You see a small bit of blood seep from Whimsy's wound and begin to brighten his skin. And it looks like <laughs> the lightning damage that was done was reduced. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Not a fan of that. Uh, Dungeon Master, um, for my reaction, I'm going to yell, hey, I was going to eat that. And... Uh, <laughs> I would like to use um, my uh, psionic power protective field and reduce the damage down to uh, down by three. Damn. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Please yes, don't kill welcome. me. Okay. <laughs> so, so, good. so he only transfers six hit points to himself through his uh, actual cannibal ability. Mm. Uh, got it. Uh, that was his oh. uh, legendary action. So we go to Lily. Wait, oh, uh, yes. before, I'm sorry. Uh, so last thing, with Silvery Barbs, I get to turn around and give advantage to somebody. Yes, you do. Uh, I'm going to kind of just stroke my hands down, blobs back and say, you've got this. All right. You've got advantage. Rad. Thank oh, you. I just looked at chat. Whoa. We you don't just have raised... to. You didn't have to. No, we just raised a thousand dollars. Yeah, we did. That was did. our goal for the Woo! whole weekend. Woo! There are still three more games. There's three more games left in this weekend, and we already hit the goal of a grand. Dude, Let's chat, go! you were awesome. Best chat. Oh, oh, I just rolled down. I just scrolled down. I get two auto crits. All right, yeah, enough. Was, okay. That was hard. I, cool. I was going to throw you a bone <laughs> with something, but <laughs> oh, no. Oh, cool. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to, but with the auto crits, I'm that? a little bit scared. Who did that? They said you would know. <laughs> you would know. I don't, I don't know who's in chat. I don't have the window open. Oh, my Lord. And, oh, yep. Negative two charisma. Negative two charisma <laughs> coming in hot. Let's go. <laughs> right on, boys. Let's go. Okay, uh, Lily, you are up. Shia LaBeouf is kind of wrapped around Whimsy, took a massive bite out of their neck, blood soaking from them. The wounds on his face from the electrical damage are being healed. What are you doing? I'm going to walk towards the problem. 
I love how you say that. I'm gonna save that shit for my other game. <laughs> Let's walk towards the problem. <laughs> <laughs> so full on walk over and then I'm just gonna start um, chanting as I grasp my holy symbol, lay my hand on Whimsy and cast Lesser Restoration uh, to get rid of that paralyzation condition. Oh! Yes! Hell oh! Yeah! Oh! Lily, MVP! Oh, right. Wait, it's important as Shy is not going to counterspell if there's this, isn't he? No, he, no, he, okay. he no. Whew. He's a he basic has... ass bee. Yeah, wow. <laughs> wow. Shots fired. <laughs> um, That is a baller burn of a second level spell slot. I have to applaud you on that. And yeah, whimsy. You suddenly feel your muscles relax, feeling a warm hand of Lily on you, hearing a growling in your ear and a chomping and so <laughs> as your flesh is consumed by Shia. <laughs> but you are free to move. You do not have to roll your next saving throw on your churn to try and beat it. The paralyzation has been Lily, Lily, do you have any bonus action? I do not. So that is all I do. I'm just standing there, nice little massage and chanting. <laughs> so you hear growling, you hear a little bit of Gregorian chant. Like, it's a nice day. I will, <laughs> I will easily say that you have, uh, like, very easily, like, three quarters of your movement left. You were all in a cluster, so you barely had to move. If you would like to move outside of the area or immediately away from the actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf, uh, you can. I probably will. So a nice quick little massage and then I'm just going to recede back. <laughs> Got it. Uh, now we have Blob the Barbarian with John on deck. Look back to uh, Kess, just give the thumbs up. And I'm just going to rush over to Shia. And as I uh, as I go in on my attacks, I'm going to just start with Transformers was mud. <laughs> <laughs> first strike. Rude. <laughs> Very. <laughs> first attack. Wow. Yeah, my highest is an 18. And, uh. He yeah. hits. Yeah. You know what? I will. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll just. Let, let's see how he takes this one. So this is just going to be Vandy 12 plus 5. Um. <laughs> Ooh, not max, but close to it. That is 11. Uh, yeah, there's 16 total of uh, uh, slashing damage. Nice. As you slash into him, your great axe coming down is rapid, you know, just kind of doing that hissing transformer. It was big. <laughs> As you come in, it cuts into him, but you see that he shrugs it off. Like it's not as effective. Ooh. Didn't like that, did ya? <laughs> he looks at you and just goes, <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can do. <laughs> Got it. Um, do you have a bonus action? Oh, uh, uh, you, were, you were still in rage. Because yes, you were I was. hitting trees. <laughs> yes, I was. Yes, I was. <laughs> yeah, I Anything have the else? pseudopod, but yeah, I am no uses for it at the moment. So yeah, that's going to be my go. Valid. Uh, John is up and top of the initiative order. Whimsy, you are on deck. Yes, so um, I'm going to saunter up to him and pull out my very long sword. It's even longer than Casey's um, ghost sword, which is weird. Um, and I'm going to attempt to hit him with my very long and curved sword that's a little thicker on the end. My God. <laughs> um. Well, that's a five. I'm going to use one of my read walls. Okay. Because I'm a normal human that can do that kind of thing. Um, that's better. Uh, uh, <laughs> Twenty-five to hit. Uh, yeah, that 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 hits. That that hits cool. a lot. Yeah, Bazinga! All right. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I'm, going to, I'm going to do. Um. Uh, uh, let's see here. Um, that is 10 slashing damage. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to put my hands on my hips and uh, uh, just kind of nod at him in a stern manner. And the sword <laughs> is going to swing again all on its own um, with my psionic uh, power strike um, and do an additional uh, seven force damage. 
seven force damage. Rad. Yeah. So your your first strike as you bring it down. Like Blob, you notice as the sword cuts deep into him, there is a portion of it that just, it doesn't str strike as deep. Almost as if he is resistant to the types of damages you have done to him. Uh, that's a way of me saying he has resistance. Um, but the force damage just kind of pushes him back a little bit. And that seems to affect him completely. Do you have any bonus actions you would like to do, or was that psionic one of them? That is part of my attack, but I think for now I will save all my bonus actions. Okay. Uh, Shia is going to use a legendary action. And as you do that, he's glaring at the wound on Whimsy's neck, gets hit by that great axe, and stares at Blob. But you. <laughs> you, John. Mm. Echoing that slight sense of undeath, he looks at you, pulls out a knife, brandishes Ooh. it, attempts to stab you, because he does not like anyone else consuming human anything in yeah. his presence. I get it. It's professional courtesy. I get it. <laughs> uh, does a 16 hit? No, I'm wearing my armor from Al Konodar, so it doesn't hit. <laughs> so it just glances off and he just kind of roars in frustration. Just. Yeah, I get it. He hits himself on the head a couple times. Just do it. Whimsy, you're up. <laughs> Don't worry, it happens to lots of guys. <laughs> Ow. Uh, yeah, Whimsy is getting the fuck out of there. Um, They're going to move. Um, as far away, kind of, as they can. You um, will be at risk of an opportunity attack. No, DM, please. Okay, fine. <laughs> um. are, uh, <laughs> to you, are you moving? Are you moving? No, not yet. I'll move after then. That's going to change what I do, and that's fine, because we have plenty I, of time. If you move out of melee, he can still use a reaction to hit you. So I'm going to instead... Mm -hmm. If he's charmed by me... He won't attack me, yes? Uh, in the wise words of one other DM, you can certainly try. Okay. I'm going to do that. I want to cast uh, Crown of Madness. Um, actually, before I do that, mm. do you consider in the world of Ents, trees, creatures? Yes. Well, if they're an Ent. If they're a tree, they're an animated object. All right, then. Oh, though, I would like. Okay, I'm going to cast Suggestion. It's a it's a wisdom DC of 15. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. uh, that is. Is that a tough one to say? Is that. It is a tech, it's, it's a charm, right? Mm -hmm. You're attempting to charm him or control him? Yes. Okay. Wisdom save of. He's going to use his legendary resistance okay. uh, to we burn him, we burn him. shrug that off. Okay. Um, he, you, you feel the magic begin to take hold. It's, you have to try a little harder almost as if he may have some sort of resistance to charming. But you feel it grip and hold and then just shatter under your control as he turns and glares at you. I was trying to be nice. <laughs> you see what you've done to me. I guess that's it. Are you moving out of uh, melee? I mean, I probably should, but I don't want any more bites taken out of me without asking. I mean, there is that. He, th this is very non-consensual touching. He used to. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it alone for now. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um. Then he is up. He is glancing between this growing crowd of people around him. Um. The only person not in immediate melee will be Lily, who backed off after 
touching, uh, touching and taking the paralyzation off of Whimsy. He brandishes that knife again. And from off his back, he pulls an ax and he begins sharpening an ax. <laughs> and immediately goes in toward Blob. Mm -hmm. Making three attacks. Okay. I am going to use one of my auto crits on you. That is perfectly fine. <laughs> With the knife. So it will be, it's 1d4 plus uh, six. So it's 2d4 plus six. Okay. Um, let's see here. And I rolled like garbage. That is a total of nine piercing damage. Okay. Have four. <laughs> yep. Exactly, because you are raising, raging. And um, I could be a raisin. That's also fine. Yeah, you can. <laughs> and okay, that's that's that. He's also going to attempt to hit you with the axe. That is a lot. So that will be a twenty-eight to hit. Yeah, that hits. Okay, and that's and then the second one, as I conk it, that will be an eighteen to hit. Uh, that eighteen just hits. Okay, cool. So then with the two axe attacks, he does a, um, okay, this is a little bit better. Oh, um, uh, no, it is Trevor. something. Yes. Trevor. Yes. It's a new round. I still have, I now have my reaction back. Fuck, He's that's not gonna right. He's 28. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. I love you so much. Uh -oh. I'm so glad we're friends. <laughs> you still have another auto crit. It's you true, you do. You do. I'm not mm -hmm. burning that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Very I want to be hit. It's my job. Okay, so re-rolling the 28, it just brings it to a 21. That's That still hits? That still hits. Okay, uh, the total damage um, is uh, 17. 17 uh, bludgeon piercing, slashing. Uh, oh, uh, slashing, it's an axe. All right, so uh, that's just another eight as I mm -hmm. shrug it off. <laughs> and uh, that's it. He's just kind of doing the whirly gig uh, on uh, on Blob. And that's it. So now we have Kess with Lily on deck. Uh, oh, well, I also have to see. Roll d6. No, he does not get his death in his eyes power. <laughs> death in his eyes. <laughs> So, uh, Lily, uh, sorry, Lily. So, uh, Kestera, who has been kind of hiding behind the barbarian because, again, she's very soft and fragile, does have this really nice sword. It's a long sword, but it's totally not longer than, than John's. That would be ridiculous. Yes. Uh, so, Rude. I am going to, I'm just going to dart out and try to stab him a lot. Yes. You know. Like fun, mm -hmm. as one does. <laughs> oh, that's only a fourteen. So I don't think that hits. Fourteen does not hit, unfortunately. You, you have a reroll. You you do have oh, reroll. Can I? I don't personally have a reroll. Well, no, uh, again, I have we, a reroll. We made the ruling. Oh. Yes. <laughs> that no, party yeah. members can gift uh, re-rolls and auto crits to other uh, other players. And the DM. <laughs> uh, 17 on the die. 17. So, and it's a dex, so 19. Definitely what? hits. Yes. Bring it. Uh, and then I roll 2d8. Ooh. Oh, this is a Um, I'm trying to. Uh, Here we go. That's for eight damage total. Uh, so I swing the shadow blade through and it doesn't actually hit him. It goes through him and leaves an unholy scream behind because that is eight psychic damage. Oh, rude. Yes. As you carve through him, that shadowy blade seemingly splits into two as it wraps around his body. The swing is wide. It cuts through him, but you notice the tip just barely misses the other members in melee with him. And as the sword 
unleashes that psychic scream. He screams in response. Just nice, nice job. Psychic, uh, psychic hurts him pretty badly. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. Do you have uh, a Kes? bonus action? I don't. Okay. Kess will so, remember that. So now we have Lily with Blob on deck. Alrighty, I would like to try to give it a taste of its own medicine, but I'm going to do it from even further back. So I'm going to use the rest <laughs> of my movement to now be 60 feet away from him. Yep. Uh, and then I would like to reach out a hand and then basically uh, a hand of death is just going to come forward out of it, reach towards him. And I'm going to cast old person. Uh, so I would like a wisdom save. Oh, okay. This is going to be rad. Okay. Wisdom. Where's my wisdom saving throw? There it is. Is my auto crit? No, no. He will you burn. No, he will burn his last legendary resistance. Oh, okay. Oh. You feel that start to grip, and you see him begin to stiffen. The smile <laughs> crosses your face, and then you see him turn his head toward you and flex and you feel the weave shatter. He smiles gruesomely. And then uses, are you, wait, I'm sorry, are you done? You have a bonus action. I do not have a bonus action, but I have a fun fact. I have never once in my entire TTRPG career been able, career been able to have whole person work ever. Oh, <laughs> oh. bravo. <laughs> But that's, yeah. He will use a le legendary action to use his your leg. It's caught in a bear trap ability. As you <laughs> step back, I would like a dexterity saving throw from you, please. Lily? Okay. <laughs> caught in a bear. The fuck is that a reference to? The song. The song. Um, God. Your leg. Ah, oh, it's caught in a bear trap. Yeah. <laughs> God. That's a 10, but I'm going to try to use my reroll to see if I can get anything higher than that. Okay. Oh, I take that back. <laughs> I rerolled in that one. Oh, mm. no. God. I fall. Yeah, the rerolls have been cruel. I would like to give my auto success to my, my fantastic savior, Lily. Oh, I feel so bad that you've already given me so much. Wow. Now, okay. Take it. If you are doing Thank the you. auto success, um, then you step back and you feel the edge of something kind of round and serrated and it closes very rapidly, but you just step out of the way as this large four foot in diameter tooth just object just closes and it is some sort of clockwork bear trap and he just screams in frustration as you do not get caught blob you are up all right all right i'm gonna do something real fucking stupid but um yeah Let's isaac go. going for my next attack uh i will make this reckless but i'm going to use my auto crit so you advantage on all attacks against me but okay. not before i'm going to do 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 do, do, do. Ooh, tasty, tasty crits. That is uh, 19. Oh, wait. No, yeah, that is 19 plus 5, so 24. And oh, as I go into this next attack, I just fucking say it's like, Holes was your best film. <laughs> <laughs> You're not turn. wrong. You're the not truth wrong. hurts. The truth is painful. I mean, you're totally not wrong. I mean, they painted the little bearded dragons. It was, it was so yeah. good. It, yeah. That film horrified me as a child. I have a fear of lizards because of that fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just reckless and. But uh, okay. that was crit for you, so you have advantage on all attacks on me. So. Oh, it's going to ah! happen. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna guys, happen. can we kill him before he comes to his turn? Okay, okay. Uh, <sighs> that sucked. That sucked real bad. Uh, he's starting to look, even though you can sense he is resistant to any kind of, you know, any kind of damage from weapons, he's starting to look pretty hurt. 
Okay. Between the lightning, he hasn't had a chance to eat, you know, eat anybody yet. It's, he is starting to look fairly injured. Do you have anything else that you would like to do? That's all I got. Cool. John, you are up with Whimsy on deck. You said he looks injured? Oh, yes. He looks... How so? <laughs> um, decently injured. Like, okay. not... Like, like he's definitely bleeding and, and a little bloodied. He's oh, not anywhere yeah. near death. You see he's fairly, fairly robust. But I can tell that he is bleeding. Yes, you can <laughs> smell that he is bleeding. It is intoxicating to you. You oh, want to lick actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. That is the case. Then I will have to use uh, my bite attack like a normal human would. Are you course. really? <laughs> Let's go. Um, all right. So that is a... Uh... Oh, that's a natural 20. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. All right. I so, heard it uh... tastes like chicken. It's the bath salts. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to roll. Um... That is uh, four piercing damage plus another four because it's just my bite attack. Mm -hmm. um, which is another, so eight piercing damage. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, one more time, my sword is just going to be like looking on expe expectantly beside me and attack him again on its own as part of the Bring same attack. On its own. <laughs> uh, so that's going to do another um, uh, five force damage. And I get to add eight to my next skill check. And if I was damaged, it would heal me for eight. But okay. how did he taste the DM? Uh, grotesque. Yeah. In a good way? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Definitely not. No, like he, no, like there, there, it seems like there's oil and dirt and grease as if he was like doing some sort of World War II, you know, reenactment movie. <laughs> Mm. There's parts of him that are covered in this red desert-like dust, as it, it dust as, he, as if he was digging in holes, and yeah, it's just it's not pleasant at all. Take a bath, guy. Okay, that's the end of my turn. But he will, at the end of your turn, use his uh, legendary action ah. to stare at you, growl, and bite you in return. And oh. I am using my second and last auto crit. <laughs> yes. This is very romantic. Bite, bite, no. bite, bite. Mm. John, don't oh, let him bring you to got a to his level. level. With my bonus action, I come. <laughs> I fucking can't. <laughs> no. <laughs> 14 points of necrotic damage? Sure. Re we'll reduce that with my psionic shield by uh, five. Okay. But Trevor, how much psychic damage did you just take? <laughs> 12 on a D12. Yeah. <laughs> That's about where I'm at right now. I, I am going to apply that to the monster. It's um, too kind of you. Because that sucked. Shia deserves better than that. I mean, no, he really doesn't. He was, no. <laughs> This is why he's a monster. He's yeah. kind of a, like not even controversial. He's an asshole, and I want him to die at least in game. <laughs> yeah, this is not a direct, you know, direct attack or wish of death upon. In Shia Minecraft, LaBeouf. in Minecraft, in Minecraft. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's like, come on, dude. This character, treat people specifically. Better. In, you know, about treating people better, you do realize when you donate to the March of Die. <laughs> You support yes. parents throughout their pregnancies. You help to end preventable maternal health risks and death and preterm birth and close the health equity gap for every family. And for every $5 you donate to the March of Dimes, you'll be entered uh, into win some amazing prizes, including art dice from Really Real Life Unicorn, a copy of Necrobiotic, a PDF copy of Black Ballad when it's released, a PDF copy of The Spy Game, or even a $100 gift card to dispel dice. Chinese. Very much shinies. You can also, with your donations, help to impact the game. Like give more auto crits to the DM. Don't do it. Yes, no. do it. Do it. Just do it. Segue. <laughs> no. Uh, that is the end of his legendary action. So we drop back to 
Whimsy at the start of the uh, round. Whimsy, uh, when when it becomes their turn, is uh, blushing. Uh, <laughs> they are staring intently at the biting and uh, <laughs> shake it off like, Oops. I didn't want to have to do this. And they pull out a little concertina and start playing a song. Uh, it's no. very lively. No, no, and, no, no, uh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> they cast Otto's Irresistible Dance on this uh, disgusting man. Um, and uh, hopefully, one? well, you know. Um, <laughs> damn, I can't say the most disgusting because I know where that's going to go. Uh, the, the one who is uh, a plagiarist. Um, <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. So hopefully he'll do like some really nice jack and thing. I'd like to see some, some capering, maybe a kick. Mm. A jig. How about yeah. a jig? That would be good. Okay. Pulling yeah. the die in my hand. I do believe it's a wisdom saving throw. Yes, so the fine print does say that you make the wisdom saving throw as an action to regain control of yourself. I don't know if that means on your turn or if that means right away. I think on his turn. Though. No, on his turn. Yeah. no, let me huh? let me pull this up. Choose one creature you can see within range. Mm -hmm. Target begins a comic dance in place, shuffling, tapping his feet, uh, capering for the duration. <laughs> Creatures that can't be charmed are immune to this spell. He used his legendary stuff, right? But he's resistant to charm. Resistant? Does that mean he can't be, or it's harder to? I think advantage to break out of it, but... Yeah, he would have advantage to break out, but it doesn't say he has this, has to make the saving throw at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's just dancing. No. <laughs> so he's dropping it like it's hot right now. He's yeah, just, but not in a good way. Is he twerking? He's, is he yeah. trying to twerk? Yeah, he's getting low, and it's really horrible. <laughs> I mean, lower than he's already, like, that's, this is semantics, really, as how how low can Shia go? I'd exactly. like to know. <laughs> so, why. you begin playing that concertina, mm -hmm. and after ripping a chunk out of John, he turns to you and begins... Sway. That's good. Then doing like a slight, strange interpretive dance yes. of what cannibalism would be like. If he had a ribbon suspended from a tree, he would try to do some aerial maneuvers, but he can't. But he is holding onto his head and moving as if a large paper mache replica of his head is on as he wavers. Yes. And he is being controlled by the spell. I wish I had like a little ribbon to give him. <laughs> Make it pretty. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so everyone else, um, he has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws and attack rolls, and all of you have advantage on attack rolls against him yeah. while he dances. Aww. <laughs> I'm <Damn>. so pleased. <laughs> Do you have a beautiful bonus action to yes. put more hilarity upon me? So my bonus action uh, is to blow a kiss at Kess and give Bardic inspiration. Ooh, baller move. Is that, that's a, what's your die? Is it a D6 still? That is a D6, yes. Rad. Good. And I can use it on, I'm sorry, uh, I can use it on attacks or damage? I believe so. Uh, Ability check, attack, or saving throw. Yeah, but not oh, damage. okay, just Not attack. damage. All right, mm -hmm. not damage. Right. Um, are you moving uh, out of melee with him? Since he's doing something else, I absolutely am. <laughs> yep, I'm, I, I'm mirroring I... his dancing, but <laughs> walking back. <laughs> like, shenanay away. Yes. yes. He, will, he will you No, he will not. He is not going to take an opportunity attack from you. He's kind of feeling the groove. Yeah. Mm. And then watches you dance away. He's like, damn it. Yes. So, on his turn, he will use his action to, uh, we have made the rule, since he is resistant, we'll have advantage on this roll, on the saving throw. So, that will be a total of 15. That hits it. Cool! So, he begins to move, and he, like, his eyes kind of glaze over for a minute with murderous rage. 
and just stops the movement and stares at you. And this slight, just horrific <laughs> grin comes across his face. <laughs> and that's all he does. Hey. He's yes. not going to get down on all fours and break into a sprint. Um, Yeah. So, uh, Kess, you're up. He has ceased his dancing. Uh, uh, I'm actually glad for that because that was hurting me as a person. Um, <laughs> I still, I, I uh, even, oh, I was going to say, even though I, um, even though he's no longer dancing, I actually still have advantage uh, because of the way silvery barbs work. Mm-hmm. So, oof. Let's, let's roll that beautiful. Uh, please a six. Please a six. Hackity attackity. Nope. Oh, uh, just no. a 13. That was, that was hard. Reroll. <gasps> Take it. So much. <laughs> He's just holding all the rerolls for the party, just giving them out like candy. And you get a reroll, and you get a reroll. Everybody that's gets a, a reroll. That's me. The bard that's another 17 on the dice. Fuck yeah, it is. Yep. I, love yep. You, yep. I love you, Whimsy. Mm. Smackety, smackety. Uh, um, that is... bring, bring it. Some more psychic damage just for you, like a hug. That's 13. Mm. Damn. Okay. Uh, he's looking pretty rough at this point. Seems just that, you know, onslaught of psychic activity is just wrecking him. He starts to just mutter lines from different bardic tales that you've heard. <laughs> just, just, you suddenly, he looks at you and just goes, Bumblebee! And... <laughs> It just seems like he's beginning to become unraveled and very frenetic in his actions. Uh, uh, do you have a bonus action or would you like to do anything else? Uh, no, my bonus action is just to look at him and say, the only reason you still get rolls is Hollywood nepotism. Ooh. God damn. Ooh. <laughs> damn. As a legendary action, when you say that, <laughs> <laughs> he, he just stares at you and I That's need fair. a wisdom saving throw from you as he has death in his eyes again stares at you ooh uh, so I I rolled the bardic inspiration die already uh, mm -hmm. actually you know what um oh no, roll uh, whatever you rolled for. Uh, we'll we'll ignore that roll. Roll the saving throw first, and then add the bardic inspiration. Jeez. If you wish okay, to. Okay, so. Oh. Yeah, that brings. Hold on, let me see my total. It's still very sad. What what is my what's my DC? Nineteen. For? Ooh. Uh, and then one last thing to see if I can do it. No, uh, I am. Nope. I'm a very sad. Very Anybody sad. else gifting rerolls at this point? You'll be pleased to know I'm out. <laughs> Chat. I mean, come on. I will give you thirty seconds to grant a reroll or Kess. The Yanti wizard is going to be paralyzed for one minute. God. Don't do it, you Not guys. Not only will you. Not only will you be helping me, you'll also be helping, you know, pregnant people and families. There's yes, no good reason you will be not donating to. to the March of Dimes. It's worth it. Yeah, it's, you'll support parents, it. maternal yeah. health, you know, and preven preventable maternal health risks. Mm -hmm. You've got 10 seconds left, chat. Oh, Do you I hate God, families? I good! <laughs> oh, <laughs> like this! <laughs> oh. And... Chess. Ah, you, sorry, buddy. Your gaze matches his. And you just are afraid. Images of horrible performance art enter your head. You feel like you are just locked in place and people are screaming at you. They did? Oh, shit. Yes! Yes! Oh, oh, oh. Thank you! Oh. I love you all so much! 
Ouch! All right, Righteous all right. Fury. I got um actually. So, <laughs> um, Cass, Cass, you have two rerolls. You're beating a 19. Yeah. Uh, I am with a 23. Yes! Let's go. Thank you, whoever it was. I love you very mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. Yes. In your head, those images of horrible people are yelling at you, and then you realize, no. No, no. I saw coverage of this by a town crier. I'm yelling at him, and he's sitting there and taking it with a bag over his head. And that amount of psychic energy gets twisted, and he realizes that he does not have a paralytic control over it. And the ability fails. Damn it. Lily, you are up with Blob on deck. Alrighty, I am going uh, to surround us with the sound of bells and cast Toll the Dead. Uh, so I need a wisdom save. Oh, uh, 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 one of my favorite, oh. Roll the one. You have a critical. Mm. No, I, oh. Oh. no, oh. I don't. Damn. I used one against you and I used one against John. Does it help that we feel really bad? And I also <laughs> do not have any legendary resistances left. Ooh. Yeah, so roll that beautiful math rock uh, amounts. Has told the dead sucks, and it's my favorite God. cantrip whenever I play a cleric um, <laughs> or a paladin. It's my favorite as well, and I that... rolled a ten <sighs> because uh, he had taken uh, like he's missing hit points, correct? He's missing a lot of hit points. Okay, yep. So that's ten points of necrotic damage. He drops to one knee mm. and just glares at you balefully. <sighs> he slowly plants the axe and gets back up. He's looking really rough, but he's still in this fight. Is there anything else you would like to do? I'm just enjoying the sound of bells. That's all I got. Ding. I heard a little the bells, 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 bells. Oh my Blob, god. Blob, you're up. I, like, as he's starting to come up with his axe, I just very gingerly, like, aiming, like, towards his neck. As I wind it back, I go, Megan Fox could do better. And then a <laughs> reckless attack. Okay, there's a 15. And then that is a natural 20. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, dude! That is, that is four. That is thirteen plus five, so eighteen. N have to nine. <laughs> like, oh wow, that just bites deep into just above the clavicle, just right into his neck, and he just hisses at you, takes the knife and pulls it out. Just parrying against the blade. Just blood is beginning to gush out of that wound. The various damage, just, you can see, just if you had x-ray vision, his brain reeling from the psychic damage, all of these wounds from these stabs and slashes. He is looking really screwed up now. Oh my <laughs> God, he's still alive. He is still alive, but looking really bad. <laughs> Come on. Really so, bad. But he's you bleeding profusely? Re bleeding profusely. That's your cute. Don! <laughs> oh. Like, I look to Don and I go, like, so stupid! So hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Speaking of which, John. <laughs> Yes. You're up. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to use my auto crit. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. On a bite oh, attack. No. <laughs> right on the. I want to lick him in his axe hole. <laughs> oh my god. No. I'm done with this. Jess, cancel the stream. Stream. Yeah. I'm fucking out. 
So uh, Jesse has officially broke me. Uh, oh god. Uh. DM is back on his heels. So we're going to... Two hat has gone flying somewhere over there now. It like e- e- you are even making Fembershod sad. <laughs> <laughs> What's your damage? So, um, I'm going to auto crit. That's only two D4, so that's three piercing damage plus another um, three piercing damage. Um, so a total of six? Yes. Didn't you have an eight that 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 traveled over? I, I thought you had an eight from last round. Was I making that up? I don't know numbers. I Oh, s- sort of. Um, I'm out okay. of those right now. All right. But as I Sorry. suck uh, Shia LaBeouf, <laughs> I, I, I suck him, uh, and then um, I regain a little bit of psychic energy with my bonus action, <laughs> and uh, and I suck some some help out of him too. He looks a little less hearty and hale. Oh yes, he does. He is still standing, barely. But, but he has been sucked now. Yeah, <laughs> he's gripping. The back of your neck, oh. kind of against his, yes. and just staring balefully at the rest of the party. Wim, you're up. I want to cast Dissonant Whispers one more time. God, <laughs> <laughs> what mean? For the love of God! <laughs> um, um. <laughs> first level, second. What? How are I'm, you doing? I'm going. I'm going second level. Yeah, I'm gonna go right. second level. I, I, I look over at him, seeing this, like, just display. It's <laughs> one way to put it. <laughs> and I'm like, you know your biopic? I wasn't touched. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I tried. I really did. Ouch. <laughs> Fuck you're just hurts. like your dad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you're dead? Come on. As you say that, the whole glade that's a ways away begins to whisper with you. Biopic, biopic. <laughs> what's it, what's it, just like that, just like that. <laughs> And he rolls his wisdom save. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah, it is. Yes! Yeah. Yes! That's, that's 15 psychic damage for him because he's just like his dad. Oh, just like your dad, just like your dad. <laughs> <laughs> he drops the one knee, still gripping to John. Oh. Drops <laughs> to a second, bracing himself, oh just God. putting the butt of the knife on the ground. This and just barely looks at you and just a thread of life left. You have any bonus actions? So I just have bardic inspiration, I think. Oh my lord. Inspire this... anyone? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to I'm gonna inspire Kess again since she's next. And uh, I think when you see it, I turn around nice. and I do like a little. Mm. <laughs> okay. As a legendary action, at the end of your turn, he is going to attempt to pulls John's hair back and turns and he's trying to bite at his neck. I am putting this die away as that is a total of eight, which I'm pretty sure is way below your AC. It is way below my AC. You have to try a lot harder to suck me. <laughs> I would pay to see that. On his, uh, now that it is Shia's turn in the initiative order, he will attempt to bite at John again. Yes. Desperately. Just. <sighs> Okay. First bite is a 10. Second bite is a 17. Sorry. It's 
Sorry, don't really let yourself go, man. Like, 30 or three last of the three attacks he has. 16. <laughs> Do you guy. even lift? <laughs> <laughs> I want to give Trevor a hug. I feel bad for all these bad <laughs> rolls for Shia. He just <laughs> pushes John away and turns <laughs> and looks at the party. He should have won an Oscar. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> you're up. Oh, no. He is holding um, on by a thread. So, uh... I'm actually, no, uh, I am going to, oh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, I am going to slash at him one more time with my shadow blade, just kind of come in from the other side of where he's apparently holding John. Hey, yo. Oh, no, he, he, he pushed John away. <laughs> he's kind oh, of like no. sitting in the midst of you, just barely moving and the inspiration uh that's a 19 thank you for the inspiration die yes how do you dispatch and... yes he had one hit point remaining oh my god you had him down <laughs> from 98 to 1 holy shit uh, well, in that case, what I'd really like to do is uh, I, staying within range, I cut around to the back of him, grab him by his hair, pull my uh, shadow blade across his throat, and as he's bleeding out, I whisper, this is the only way anyone will write fan fiction about you. <laughs> and it's mostly John. This shadow blade cuts through his throat. Mm. Just a wisp of darkness. And you see his mind embrace that terror, and he delves deep into his method acting. And wills this wound to open in his throat, and his blood just gushes out. Oh, you're spilling it. <laughs> And as you let go, he just slumps forward, dead. You defeated Shia Lebron. I have my pseudopod go out and just try to make a bowl for John, just so he can have <laughs> non-tainted blood. He lies at your feet, unmoving. Axe and knife kind of just scattered from his hands. You feel that necrotic energy lift from the forest around you. As the blood that was on him and on the trees begins to slowly dry and harden. Whatever horrors that existed are let go of. Fog recedes. The dwindling sunlight shines through this once horrible forest. And in the distance, a cabin, light up, small lantern. As a party, for your final visit to the village, what would you like to do? Um, actually, before we like, if we leave him or anything like that, um, I'm actually gonna walk up to him, lay my hands on him, say a prayer, and cast uh, Gentle Repose, uh, so that way he cannot become undead. Oh. Smart. Mm -hmm. If you weren't going to do that, I was just going to chop off all of his arms and legs. <laughs> just, just to be sure. You can do two things. Yeah. 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 Both <laughs> is good. I... <laughs> you, you very skillfully <laughs> chop off his arms and legs. He's just like this limbless torso laying there. Eyes are open and blank. Does he have a, a, a paper bag? Just just by chance that I can just take he it has, the head. He, he does have a wadded up paper bag in one of the shabby pockets. <laughs> and uh, 
<laughs> Flaw will take the put the head inside the bag. Goes like, this will be good for celebrating later. And then we're just gonna head back to the village. As you <laughs> decapitate him, Bob just gave himself head. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, as the head is struck from his body, even though your gentle repose took form, you sensed for a brief moment had enough time passed. Some sort of shy surprise is going to happen, and he was going to somehow regenerate. But now that the head has been separated, and I the did horrors that, that struck small sleeping lumber town have been dispatched the mayor upon your return does not give you any money dick but thanks you profusely <laughs> Tay from the Fall Leafs Tavern sets up a round for you all and this is where the curtains close on the horrors of Hill's Rest. I would love to thank my wonderful cast. I would love to thank chat. And please remember, you can still donate because we've got a lot. We have three games left in this charity drive and everything is going to March of Dimes. The most important thing though, I would love for my cast to introduce themselves and where we can find you and all of that amazement because holy shit, were you all rad. <laughs> And let's start with the amazing Whimsy, Candace. Hi! Hello. I have been Whimsy Thistledown, Bard Extraordinaire. My name is Candace. You can find me at that Candace Girl on Twitter, at Candace the Magnificent everywhere else. That's Candace with an A. Um, I am over at 12 Sided Stories on Tuesdays and over at Bad House on Wednesdays if you're interested in some cyberpunk. Um, I am also every other Wednesday on 12 Sided Stories podcast, Sword of the Serpentine. It's called Bookhound Bounty Hunters. Um, but follow me on Twitter for more information. Right and, on. And thank you to all of you for a fantastic game. I think this is like one of the best times I've had as Whimsy. I play her in my home game, so it was an honor to bring her to this one. Nice. That's, that's, <laughs> Love it. Thank you so much. Um, Next up in initiative with the party is Kess. Uh, oh. Hi, my, my name is Nuance. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at, at Shadow Raven, where I yell a great deal about everything from Sailor Moon to intersectional feminism. Uh, I will be uh, I will actually be on the Dog Ate My, Home, My Book Report uh, podcast uh, talking about Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. That's going to come out sometime in June, but uh, I'd love if you listened. Uh, you can find them at, uh, 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 at Dog Ate My Book Pod. Uh, and very rarely I hop on my Twitch, uh, which is at Books and Wench, B O O K S O M E W E N C H. Thank you all. And Trevor, thank you. This was amazing. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Huh. Next up in initiative, we have Lily, played by hey, the everyone. amazing Hope. <laughs> I am Hope from Hope for TTRPGs, uh, and you can find me under Hope for TTRPGs basically anywhere. Uh, what I do is I like to help boost other TTRPG content creators. Uh, so I spend a lot of time on Twitter. Uh, we also have an amazing Discord community uh, where you can join our Discord for self promos, advice, helping each other out, uh, and just having a lot of fun. Uh, so I'd love to see you around there. I just enjoy helping lift up others. Uh, you can also uh, get, like, we're all dice hoarders here. So if you're interested in dice, check out Adventure Dice and use Hope 10 for 10% off of dice from there. Also check out Dungeon Glitch and they make amazing like TTRPG themed t-shirts uh, where you can use code HOPE15 for 15% off. Uh, and there's lots of deals like that in our Discord too. Uh, just things to help help get everybody a little bit more TTRPG gear. And again, just thank you to everyone for having me here. Like I was so starstruck when I was asked to like be playing with this group. And like, I've been so nervous for like the past month. Like, oh my goodness, like I get to play with them. Like this is yeah. crazy. Aww. So thank you all so much. Aww. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next thank up, you. playing the pseudopod wielding plasmoid barbarian blob. <sighs> Kevin. 
Hello, hello, hello. I'm Kevin Kudo. You can find me on most social medias at KKudoVA. Um, I run a, a Star Wars Clone Wars campaign on Wednesday nights at Revenge of the Crit. You can find that on YouTube and here at Twitch at KKudoVA. And if you liked uh, me playing here today, I also uh, run games over on Start Playing every so often. I have a lot of full tables, but uh, I open something up. You can find me on there as well, and uh, hopefully you can join... Uh, my <laughs> chaotic nature as, as adventures full on but yeah fantastic thank again thanks again to jess for setting this up and trevor for running a fantastic game and all of y'all for being such chaotic little <laughs> chaotic little assholes i love it uh. speaking of a chaotic little asshole <laughs> <laughs> right here john <laughs> played by the amazing jesse Hi friends, I am Jesse Jurdak. You can find me at Jesse Jurdak on all of the social medias. Uh, I Twitch stream, I am actually GMing a uh, uh, Skyrim themed um, ongoing campaign called Hon Unte. You can catch that on Critical Bard's Twitch channel and his YouTube channel. It's pretty good, I'm pretty proud of it. Um, what else? That That's all, that's all I am. Go, go look at, at Jesse Jurdak on all the things. Right on. And... Uh, I guess I have to do the thing. Playing the actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf and all the NPCs and doing the dice and coming up with this insanity. Hi, my name is Trevor Valle. I am a professional dungeon master and paleontologist, and you can find me at Tattoos and Bones on Twitter. It's pretty much my only social media. However, if you liked what I was doing and you want to see me do a little bit more, Monday nights, I am here on Twitch on Negative 2 Charisma. There is the 1940s inspire noir fifth edition campaign run by DM Chuck, where I play Mac, the Minotaur gunslinger, so a literal cowboy. On Wednesdays, I am the GM on Open Circuit Studios here on Twitch for Leverage Los Angeles, the role-playing game, where I have a group of con men and criminals currently considering a different career. How's that for alliteration? Uh, other than that, um, I don't really do much else. So uh, I would like to definitely thank Jess for having me on and asking me to DM this wonderful session with this amazing fucking cast and this incredible chat who allowed us to hit our fucking goal. Two games in. We have three more to go. <laughs> Let's double that goal, people. Hit 2K. Can you do that? Because if you do, everyone will cheer. And uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for uh, the horror of Hill's Rest. And.